Hi, I'm Samu Tolvan, and I made the... Fuck. Hi, this is Samu Tolvan, aka Chachito, aka Mr. Chachito, and this is the behind the scenes video for... Epic Shock Palace of History! Steven Isbell! Something like that. When I decided that I'm gonna make this epic sack battles of history thing, one of the first things that I did was go out and buy this big, expensive, like really good quality uh, green screen. And then I realized that. I'm gonna do it in LVB, so I really don't need that. Hey, hey, sack people, it's me, Lack Lack. It's about time someone beats some fancy into that sack. Because you sucked so hard in both PC and Lack, you had to set up another cancer that even was hard to hack. Oh, snack. No, you're doing a great job there, Steven. I'm gonna need clap. But there's a lot of people who want to get even. <clears throat> with you! And there is nothing you can do! Except... Make the thing look at the lows that people work so long and hard on! It's like having little kids scream at you, it's giving you a hard on! Or something... And that's not even really... I think I screwed everything up. This isn't really actually how I recorded it anyway, because... It's in a bunch of different parts. Look, I'll actually show you right now, because this is such a mockery. I didn't, I didn't think of doing this stupid uh, behind the scenes thing while I was actually making the level. And even if I do make, I mean I'm making a second one but I'm not gonna make this, if I make a behind the scenes for that one, I'm, I'm gonna make that after the level's finished also, so. Yeah, okay, just, just take a look right here. I'm gonna, I recorded some stuff but I'm just gonna show this with the camera itself. Like, just check it out, check it out, check it out, check it, check it out. The song is there. Like, see? They're on different um, magic mouths. I didn't do the whole thing. Okay, I think it would actually be a lot smoother if I did do it all in one recording. But, see, like... See? And then there's a bunch of these. That's just that. As some of you may know, Flying Potato Man had already made two epic sack battles of history, but I think at some point he deleted them from his earth, maybe, or something. I really don't know, but I don't think they're really anywhere anymore, except maybe on his uh, creator moon, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, his thing was that he had the actual creators themselves there, you know, playing themselves, and I, I'm guessing they also came up with the lyrics themselves. They had something going on with, for them, but uh, to be honest, they weren't that great. I'm really not that much of a fan of him anyway, so I don't know might just be that kind of though they were like pretty much my favorite levels of his but he deleted them so I really don't like his other levels but anyway his videos the music was good the lyrics were kind of good but the video themselves the videos they just had the characters like standing there and the camera angles didn't even really change all that much, if at all. They maybe zoomed in during the verse or something. But, uh, I mean, I thought the idea of doing a sack battle in LVP, that was really great about them. And then I didn't just want to copy him, but, you know, it seemed like he stopped making them. And also, it being me, I wouldn't get the actual creators to play themselves. Because I always want to do th dumb voices myself. And also I wanted to really 
make the videos a bit more like the epic sack battles. I mean, rap battles, what the hell am I talking about? Like with a whole bunch of different cameras changing and... Then you know the characters like doing yo ha every some stuff you know LBP and yeah. Now I wonder why your level ping day is over. Did someone die? What's the lack of applause? I reckon some poor guy got hold of your biological controller and pressed start. The menopause. I don't really remember when. I first decided to make the epic sack battles of history, but I remember that I got the idea and most of the lyrics in my head like probably a few months before I actually started making the level. So I didn't have to like start from just nothing. But uh, you know the, the lyrics are like, they're, they're not my personal opinions obviously, I mean they're also not Steven Ice and Leclax opinions of each other. Obviously, again. I mean, that should be obvious, but I don't know, some people it might not be. It's mostly based on, like, uh, just general um, troll opinions about these two players and just, you know, the MM picks and just, you know, pick levels like that. You know how Leclax had those little big picks. I'm sure people will, were saying sort of some sort of stuff like what's said in the level. And, uh, you know, I looked a bit at their comments and, you know, I remember I had sort of heard some stuff about what had happened with them, like that whole um, twisted mind uh, stealing the leg clack, uh, like trying to pretend that he's leg clack and then st sending people like messages, hey, like, come to my pod, You're, you've been selected for a little bit pics or something, and then he like hits, hits them with a bunch of uh, glitches or something, I don't know. But yeah, so it's not my, again, it's, it even says that in the description, it's not my opinion, it's not Leclerc's and Steven I's opinion. It's, I'm not sure if it's anyone's opinion, it's just based on like, sort of troll comments and stuff like that. And also a bunch of it is just to fit in the rhymes. Like, I didn't wanna say, like, call, I didn't wanna call Leclerc a Swedish cow, but... It just kind of fit there, so I did. The menopause thing was kind of weird too, because she's not that old. And, uh, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool, because it's like menu, pause. You press start to go to the menu to pause the game. It's a menopause. But now I'm just explaining the jokes, so that's kind of dumb. Anyway. Catching up with the Oh no fuck! Uh, one thing that kind of made uh, you know just coming up with the lyrics hard was the fact that you know I can't really swear, and swearing is really sort of a part of rap. I think, I mean, you don't have to be constantly like FUCK THIS, FUCK THAT, MOTHERFUCKERS, FUCK THIS, AND FUCK THAT, AND SHIT, AND MOTHERFUCKER You know? But, I mean, the epic rap battles aren't like that, but they have the occasional fuck, or, you know, just words like that. I mean, it's apparently okay to say crap in LBP, since Ninja Cat 2 had that word in there, and that was MM picked. But, um, yeah, I mean, in this sack battle, I have a few like jokes where you know Leclerc's pretty much obviously gonna say the F word but then it like gets moderated or in the end when you know Steven's gonna say something kinda you know he's like well that was quite the stunt but I'm not finished with you yet you pink little and then it just cuts you know I mean that's obviously gonna be like a curse word and that wouldn't be better if I did actually have the curse word but you know, sometimes when I'm just coming up with stuff, I feel like just putting some like, you're a fucking du you know, just putting the little, because that, that brings like sort of energy into the thing. But I guess it's fine without it. But sometimes like when I'm coming up with the lyrics, I just think of, yeah, I'm gonna have this, you mu you fucking, you, you know, but then, and then I realize, oh, it, it, it's LBP. Can't have that. You make sure of all the 
Of course, just go around spreading the love as you please. If anything, that's a sure way to catch these things, if you know what I mean. And then he goes on. You know, I don't know if anyone else noticed, but Steven's, like, Steven Isbell's segments are, like, kind of longer than Leclax, especially Leclax's second segment, that's pretty short. And I did actually sort of have more for her. I think, like, I didn't write these things down, like, when I originally came up with them, so they... I kind of forgot, like, the second half of the whole, just what I had, like, like thought up about the lyrics. I just forgot, like, half of it. And then I had to come up with it, like, again. And uh, in Leclerc's case, for the second verse, I had, like, this, these lines about, like, that went something like, um, like, <clears throat> If you can't handle what I say, why don't you just hit me with some of your moderators? Isn't that what you do with all of your haters? Or something like that, you know, hit me with your moderators. Isn't that what you do with all of your, all of your haters? Something along those lines, but I, I don't know, it felt like kind of mean in some way. And I just left it out. Or maybe I didn't like it. I don't know. It would be weird if I left it out because it felt mean or uncalled for or something. Because, well, there's the line where like Lex says, or I say, Pretending to be like 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 the thing about little kids uh, screaming at Steve and I giving him a hard on or something. I mean that's in the level, but then something about moderators and Steve and I putting moderators after his haters. That's that's crossing the line. But the uh, erection thing about little kids, that's that's fine. Uh, I use this uh, not really that impressive PlayStation 3 headset to record uh, the lyrics and usually I use it for to record pretty much all my uh, voice acting in LBP and you know I just put it in my ear like that you know I don't put it in my ear the part of it is sort of slightly inside my ear I guess you could say that but I put it on my ear or whatever you want to say but uh, I also have this other headset, which I guess is like newer, and I guess it should sort of technically be better, like maybe more high def or something. And I, I guess it probably is, but I still prefer the other one, the older one, because this one sort sometimes sort of hurts my ear when I put it on, and also I just prefer the sound of the old one more. Maybe it's like the same thing that people who prefer vinyls over like CDs and stuff have like, you know, maybe it's that Oh, the old one, it sounds better! It just sounds better! But then really it's just because they're used to it or because they're afraid of new stuff. I don't know, but I prefer the old one and that's what I usually use. I did actually use this one to record, the newer one, to record the Stephen Fry uh, lines. You know, the tutorial part. The whole, Hello, suck boy! I, I think I failed it. Hello, suck boy! Uh, no, forget it. I didn't really do that good of a job at it, even in the, in the level itself. Well, hello there, suck boy! Um, go? Yeah. But anyway, I use these things. See? Big fat paycheck. Even 
Swedish cow. First things first, what is wrong with your friends, Lexi? Did you do your makeup whilst having a seizure? E.g. epilepsy. Now listen in here, my dear, because there's one little thing I wish to make quite clear. You dizzing me shall not be the sole reason why the will never get picked by yours truly. You say, your level thought, don't and live. It makes no sense you've reached any amount of pain. So at this point, I basically run this game, and to me, you are nothing but another petty username. Which reminds me, you've already caused us quite enough trouble. What with your twisted mind, stupid dog? See? That's really all your little picks ever brought, just pain and misery. Well, on second thought, I guess they did also make for quite a lot of adversary. Now, I wonder why your level team days are over. Did someone die? What's the lack of applause? I reckon some poor guy got hold of your biological controller and pressed the start. The menopause. Huh, you rest are even worse than the level CP. So what's new this week? I'm on the platformer. I think I'm going to be sick. And what's with your username? Even I? Sounds like a big video game dancer. Where did we die? By the way, I already got the Olympic Stone carting. So how about instead of threatening me with not beating my level, you try to deserve that whole player getting picked on thing? Seriously, this game is now so full of bullies and trolls. Finding nice people in the community is harder than Dark Souls. Letting people down, cleaning out the price down, getting rid of the option of sound, just generally being a bad way of Dark Souls. Catching out the DLC, slowly putting every piece. Look at the girls, crystal girls, buzzing with some other three-year-olds. Not fighting for the player's option to block. Kind of seeming like you don't give a flying. You make sure you're guilty of all the results. My advice? Spread the love. Of course, just go around spreading the love as you please. If anything, that's a sure way to catch a disease, if you know what I mean. By taking a brief look at the history of your little big picks, I can tell you're actually quite the little dominatrix. For the first episode or two, there was someone else hosting the show with you. I believe he was named Mudluck. Well, after your time together, he saw a little under the weather. He decided to leave early peace. Uh, yes, and good luck. So then you did the show alone, but that went your swan song. For soon enough, that douchebag head Inc. came along. It seemed as though the two of you were having more than enough fun, but the show still ended before it ever really even begun. And after it was over, that head Inc. was left nothing more than an empty shell of a man. Just for that alone, you deserve one hell of a bag. No, but it's good you have frustrated little friends. Otherwise, I have no idea how to come up with anything nice to say at your upcoming memorial. Damn it, because I got killer lines like further like mine. But I'm not done schooling you yet. Here's a tutorial. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? 